People say that saving lives leads to overpopulation. So what would you do? Save the planet or save the people? Saving people seems like the right thing to do. But it's also hard to argue with saving the planet. After all, more lives saved equal more people, right? More people, more pressure on the planet. It's that simple. Or is it? Let's find out. Consider Afghanistan, where 10% of children die before the age of five. And yet their population is set to nearly double from 30 million to 55 million by 2050. Surprising, isn't it? Now look at Thailand. Over the past 50 years, the number of kids dying has gone way down, and so has the number of kids being born. With the help of a strong family planning program, women have gone from having an average of six children to 1.6. Clearly, letting children die now so they don't strain the planet later doesn't really work. It's a myth. The truth is that when people's lives improve, when children survive, for instance, or when girls go to school, people start making decisions based on the expectation that their children will live and thrive. The result is smaller families and slower population growth. The planet does not thrive when the sick are allowed to die off. It thrives when people are able to improve their lives. So the decision is ours to make. But it's not about saving lives or saving the planet. Because when you save lives, you save the planet too. Spread the word. Stop the myth. <laughs>